Good morning, boys and girls. Today is National Scribble Day. We're gonna watch a read aloud, listen to it, and look at the pictures. It's called Invisible Scribble, and it was written and illustrated by Diane Alber. And then we'll do our project for today. All right, let's get started. Invisible Scribble by Diane Alber. This story is strange, and I think you'd agree. It's about a scribble you just cannot see. Each day he would try to spin and twirl, hoping just once he'd see a bright swirl. But sadly, it was always the same. That's how he got his invisible name. All the other scribbles were such a sight. Red, blue, and green were oh so bright. Teal and magenta had an incredible flair and yellow and purple made the perfect pair. Invisible would watch them frolic all day, but didn't have the confidence to ask them to play. He worried he wouldn't fit into the group because he couldn't make a colorful loop. Lonely and confused, he stared at the display and said to himself, Why can't I look that way? Why can't anyone see me instead of nothing at all? I wish I was good enough to be up on that wall. Red could hear that Invisible was so sad and said, Maybe we could help. We have color to add. What if we were not spun around really quick? Maybe some of our color would fly off and stick. Invisible was shocked they were being so kind and said, That sounds great, if you don't mind. The three of them squiggled and began to play. Invisible swirled in his usual way. But this time, he scribbled a light violet hue. He was finally seen. He felt so new. He thanked Red and Blue for having a kind heart and took a giant leap to start his own art. But when he landed, he was invisible once more. He couldn't believe it. He was the same as before. Invisible cried out, Now can you see? There must be something wrong with me. With his head tilted down, he slowly walked away and said, I'll just stand here and watch you all play. Nothing's wrong with you, Orange said with a shout. We are here for you. We will figure it out. Have you ever heard of the fun splatter crew? They can change colors like a million still. When the paints heard their name, they arrived in a hurry. They all got mixed up and became a bit blurry. They were having so much fun that they just weren't aware that Invisible Scribble was standing right there. It happened so fast, and oh, how they splashed when they all accidentally collided and crashed. Paint covered invisible from head to toe. Then something great happened. He started to show. His form resisted the paint, and his color shined through. Invisible cheered. My dream come true. I thought all this time I was invisibly drawn, but my color just matched the paper I was on. Invisible was excited to create more art, but quickly noticed he couldn't start. I ran out of paper. I can't even try. Then he noticed a snippet nearby. Snippet was kind and knew just what to do and said, I have some paper in the colorful hue. I bet you can make a beautiful scene with some navy blue and forest green. Snippet grabbed the paper for Invisible to try out. We believe in you, they all said with a shout. Invisible jumped on to give it a whirl. You could see every twist and every swirl. He was so happy, he yelled to everyone. Let's all create. It'll be so much fun. Splatters filled the space above and below, and the snippets made structures all in a row. The scribbles added texture with wiggly lines. There were so many wonderful, bright new designs. I can't believe it! Invisible proclaimed. 
I'm on the one, finally framed. Your kindness grew my self-esteem, gave me the courage to fulfill my dream. Thank you all for believing me. I once felt hidden, but now I can see that each of you helped fill my heart. It made me see I was always art. Thank you so much for listening. We really hoped you enjoyed Visible Scribble. If you'd like to buy the hardcover book to read along, the link to purchase the book is in the description below. Wasn't that a cute story, The Invisible Scribble? It had a wonderful meaning. Everyone should be kind to each other and accept them for who they are. We'll take a quick break. Let's get our things around. I'm using crayons. All right, boys and girls, we're back. I hope you're excited to scribble today because I know I am. Let's get started. And normally I'm saying we're not scribbling today, no scribble scrabble, but I've learned through this story that we just listened to that scribbling is pretty cool. And it's also really neat to turn your scribbles into designs. So I wanted to show you the first thing that we're gonna do. This is for anyone can do this with us, it's super fun. Scribble all over the paper and then turn them into designs. And then I have another one that I kind of pre-planned a little bit. I just kind of focused on putting some greens here and some blues here and some different colors here. And then I took a black and I changed it and added a design over top of it. And then the last one I really planned out. I had a plan in my head. I was going to put some grass here. I was going to have some flowers here. Um, it's still scribbling, but I think it turned out pretty cool. Okay. So we are going to start first with our characters. And I want you to just pick maybe three or four colors that you'd like to use. Three or four colors that we're gonna use. And it can be any colors. I used crayons. So depending on what you wanna use, I am going to just start scribbling. So scribble all over your paper. You can go up and down. You can go around and around and around and around. You can go side to side. Really, I don't need to teach you how to scribble, I don't think. So it's fun and interesting what you can come up with when you're all done. Okay, so there's going to be my scribble. I'm then going to take a black and I'm just going to look at some of the different lines that I see in here and start tracing. So I think I'm going to start here and I'm going to follow this around. And then when I get to the top, oh, there it is. All right, there's the first shape of my cre um, creation. Next, I'm gonna come over here and follow another one around. And you're just making a um, closed line to make a character. So after I have those two things done, then I'm gonna start adding my arms and legs. So first for the legs, it's lying down, lying down, out like an oval, out like an oval. For the arms, it's line out, line out, and go one, two, three, one, two, three little lines for the fingers. His eyes are going to be ovals, so it's like an egg. Oops. And then we're gonna do little circles right here. All right, same thing over here, boys and girls. Line down, line down, out like an oval and do the arms and oval for the eyes. Oop, those are big eyes. And I think I'll give this one some eyelashes. And I did forget one thing. I forgot their smiles. Okay, there's my two creations that I just made and I think they're super cute. All right, I hope you had fun with that. Let's look at the next one that we're going to do. So the next one I said was a little bit more planned out. I planned on having some blue up top and some green down here. So basically, I'm just getting my blues and greens ready and a little bit of purples. And I'm just going to start scribbling. So if you want to do this one with me too, you can. All right, so I'm going to scribble some blues. I think I'll put some purples up here. Let me get a light blue. So I'm changing the shades of my blues. Same thing with my greens. I'm gonna put some light green. So scribble, scribble, scribble. Sometimes it's hard when you're not used to scribbling. I feel like you wanna control it and you really shouldn't. You should just let it go. Okay, 
<clears throat> just like that. So that was fun. All right, now I'm gonna use some colors that I haven't used yet. So I'm gonna go for some pinks and probably some oranges. Brighten these up a little bit more. Okay. And I think I will do some brown over here and some brown over here. All right. And probably some yellow up here in case I wanna put a sun in there. Hi, Rosie. I don't know if you can see my cat that just came in to see what we were doing. All right, and maybe some green if I turn this into a tree. All right, boys and girls, so I have my scribbles. It really doesn't look like much of anything, but right now I'm gonna take my black and I'm going to start tracing. So I knew that this was gonna be a tree trunk. Around and around and around and around for the tree. All right, and I'm gonna come over here and do the same thing. Around and around and around and around and around. I'm gonna put my sun in up here. There we have it. All right, and I'm gonna turn these into flowers. So circles with rainbows all the way around them. And I need a stem. And let's trace some of that green for grass. All right, so that's a different looking flower. So I'm just adding flowers, make it look more springy. And there we have it. That was fun too. All right, I think I'll add some clouds real quickly. All right, boys and girls. So that is kind of a more controlled scribble. Um, and like I said, for the very last one, I had more of a controlled scribble. So I kind of really focused on where I was putting those colors. And then I went back in with the black and added those. But I would like to show you one more thing. So in the story, the character was invisible, but he really wasn't invisible because he just needed a color put on top of him to show his true identity. So I'm gonna show you how to do this because it's super fun. What you need to do is take a white crayon and you just scribble, okay? And then I have some watercolors that I have that I found and I have some watercolors and I have some watercolor, um, a paintbrush and I have some water. So I'm just gonna pick one color and I'm gonna use blue. So I wet my brush, I wet my paints and then watch what happens. Oops, watch what happens. If you push down on your crayon hard enough and you paint over it with the watercolors, the watercolors do not stick to the crayon. It's called wax resist. It actually resists the paint. So it pushes the paint away. So boys and girls, this is how he got to be seen because another color was applied and there you have it. So this would be him. So I just wanna show you what I did. I let this dry and then I cut it out, glued it to another piece of paper like this. And then I took my black and I made my hands, my legs, my mouth, and I gave him some eyes. And this was my character. All right, boys and girls, I hope you had fun today scribbling with me, and I hope you come back and you make art again another day. All right, bye.